Ukraine's Football Association only unveiled their official shirt for Euro 2020 on Sunday, but it has already generated a number of headlines. The shirt, as you can see here, features a map of Ukraine, including Crimea, the peninsula annexed by Russia in 2014. So that features on the front of the shirt, but this shirt also includes the words and slogans on both the back and collar of the jersey. The first of those, as you can see in this picture here, on the back of the shirt, say glory to Ukraine, and on the collar it features the words glory to the heroes. Now Ukrainian journalists at Euronews say that these are words that are commonly used by Ukrainians when greeting each other in the street. These slogans were first popularized during World War I as a rallying cry against the Soviet rule and they were used quite frequently during the ousting of the Kremlin-backed former president in 2014. So these slogans featuring on Ukraine's official shirt for this summer's European Football Championships. And the head of the FA in Ukraine has said that he hopes that these slogans and the design of the shirt will inspire our football players to new victories. The shirt's also receiving the support from Ukraine's president, Vladimir Zelensky. But in Russia, there was a different reaction. While the spokesperson for President Vladimir Putin said that sport is sport and that Russia should avoid inciting hatred with Ukraine, you have the foreign ministry spokeswoman, Maria Zakharova, who said in a lengthy Facebook post that this shirt amounted to state propaganda and that these slogans were nationalist. Russia then complained to UEFA and in a ruling today UEFA have confirmed that Ukraine needs to remove these slogans from their shirt. In their statement UEFA said that they took no issue with the map of Crimea but it's specifically the words that are the problem. In this statement they said that following further analysis the combination of the two slogans is deemed clearly political in nature having a historic and a militaristic significance. They therefore said it should not be used in any UEFA competition matches. So this statement, Annalise, likely to get a lot of backlash in Ukraine because, of course, this comes just three days before the country are due to play their first match at Euro 2020 on Sunday against the Netherlands. But the slogans on their shirt deemed political now by UEFA.